please <laughs> just cut it out <laughs> let me stop where i get copyrighted Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl King Lex. Are you blessed and bougie? Cause I know I am. Oh, period. Ew, no. If this is your first time seeing my face, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. And get this video a nice old thumbs up if you're ready for me to get into so as you all can tell by today's title, we gonna be doing a little DIYing. Yes, I made this. It's unique, right? I'm feeling really take a bow, Rihanna. Right now, I'm like, you look so dumb right now. What? Standing outside my house. Cause what he doing is he trying to apologize. You don't worry when you cry. But yes, that's what this hair is giving me right now. I'm with my short hair for y'all in a good minute. So here I am. We're gonna be cutting this up and DIYing this regular t-shirt into a tube top bandeau or whatever you want. Well, wait a minute now, know your place. <laughs> so if you're ready to get into it, stay tuned. Y'all, so for this, all you supposed to need is a ruler, some scissors, no these are not fabric scissors, I don't have fabric scissors, a pin for marking the shirt, and then these safety pins. These are basting pins, safety pins, I don't know. I got these from Michaels, they were like $5, and they always got a coupon, so you make sure you get online, you get the 20% off any purchase item. See what I did? I did that for you. I don't wanna hear nothing crazy, I'm winging this, I have never done this before. Y'all know these type of crafts, they get my head all messed up. You know I got that anxiety. I'm a perfectionist. So we are winging this. Okay. From the tutorial I saw, she had it upside down like this. But she wasn't really trying to get the words. Like I'm trying to get, I want the thrasher part to show. So I think I am going to do like this. Hold on, let me get down my mirror. She little. And she say under the pits. Under the pits. Go under the pits. Lord Jesus, if you love me, let this come out right. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And I want to cut like up here because that's where I want to cut it. I don't know what else to say about that. I want this to be a tube top. Yes, you said it. I'm taking fashion risks. So yes, start right here. I think I'm going to put it like right here. Maybe a little lower because <laughs> so I'm going to mark it. There's my belly button. <sighs> Why? Is it coming out? Girl, do what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, mark right here and I'm going to do a little mark. I'm going to do a little higher than it should be, just because I don't want to overshoot. Here's the mark one, and then there's the second mark. Now, on a flat surface, you want to take the shirt, and where the markings are, where I marked the pin, I'm going to try to get a straight line all the way across. We're going to see how this is going to go. Once I have my lines and they're made right here, before I cut them, I'm gonna cut the sleeves off because obviously I don't need the sleeves because this is gonna be a tube top. So I'm gonna cut the sleeves and I'm gonna get back with y'all. So now that I got the sleeves off and my lines made, I'm gonna go ahead and take the scissors and I'm gonna cut on the lines that I drew previously. So now that we have our piece of fabric, we're gonna cut this in right here. And since there's already opening from the armhole, all you gotta do is just cut up into that point. So that's what I'm about to do. I feel like a, I feel like a DIY fashionista. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Cause if you don't come out right, y'all don't wanna be pissed. This is gonna be a King Lex original. Okay, original, you can't get this in the store. Can't get this in the store. So I'ma just wrap this around cause I wanna see how far she gonna come up. It was one of my tighter shirts, which is why I thought it would be a good idea to do the thing with the safety pins. Good view here. And it comes around like this. Oh wait, I look a little, I look a little, I look a little, 
let me stop. <laughs> I'm gonna do is make it so this part and this part, they're gonna end up tying together. So like right under your armpit, like where the tickle part is, right mark right there. And then I'm gonna make a mark right here. No, this won't be perfect, but I also want this to be like, not a super clean cut look. I want it to be more rugged. I want it to look like I made it myself. I don't want it to look like it's factory made because what fun is that? <laughs> so where I made my little dot, we're gonna cut into triangles. I'm gonna make two triangles, one here and then one here, and that's gonna be the tie on the side. I took my ruler and I'm gonna draw a little diagonal line, a very faint little diagonal line, so I know where to cut. I'm highly confident that I got this wrong. <laughs> but, let me see if I can wrap this around. Then I'm gonna go actually put it on for y'all. Cause we still not done, we gotta do the safety pin thing. Okay, so okay, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so if I had lost weight and then did it, you know. For demonstration purposes, obviously I'm gonna take off the other shirt. Not right this second. A little janky, but we are gonna roll with it. All right, okay. You know, okay, okay, hey, hey, we're not gonna trip, right? We're not gonna trip. Why? Because we have the safety pins. Now there are some adjustments I do want to make. There are some changes, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And unfortunately, I wasn't blessed enough to wear this without a bra because no, gravity is not on my side. It's just, it's just not. So I'm not gonna attempt that, but here comes the fun part. It's a little different, it's a little unique because I could stop here, but I'm not going to. I'm going to take fashion risks because that's what it's about, okay? So I'm not kidding y'all. I just came up with this on the spot. This is the bottom of the t-shirt that I have left. What I'm about to do is I'm gonna cut the bottom of it where the stitch is and watch what I'm about to use this for. This is gonna be a hack for all my busty gals. All my busty gals out there. Now you can leave it like this. You can leave it, nothing's wrong with it. But this little flap here that I could cut off, I feel like y'all know where I'm going with this. I am gonna take it and make it into a one arm like this. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what came over me, but I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do it like this. Girl, that's Cute. So listen, this just came to me like my creative juices are really like they really doing their own thug dizzle right now. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Excuse me, that was unruly and ghetto. Oh my gosh, I just got so inspired. I should have been making clothes a long time ago. Y'all are watching history. This is not premeditated, nothing like that. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna take the safety pins and go down here and all the way up through here and connect this to the back piece. I really just did something. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> But hopefully this comes out right because you know I ain't got time for all that. So we gonna see. Make sure that the pin is going through the shirt and through the string, I guess you can call it. Make sure it's going through both so it holds it in place. I get the first strip of it done right here in the front. Now I'm gonna take it cross the back here and we just going oh my god stop i feel so cute okay so obviously i have to take it off to do the back because i can't see behind me because what kind of witchcraft is that so i'm gonna take it off y'all ain't about to 
Look, you thought you was gonna get a free show. You ain't getting a free show. You ain't getting a free show. You ain't my man. So while I do the back, it's gonna be the same process, but I'm gonna film this just so y'all can see. So let me do the back. So after I hook the strap, I think I'm gonna take a few of them and do maybe three up the side to dress it up a little bit. So I have the finished product, but y'all know me. I like to go big or go home. I need to complete this look with a few little extra touches. One second. <laughs> came out it's definitely different for me I normally wouldn't wear stuff like this but I'm trying to get a little more comfortable in my own skin I had to come back with it I told y'all when I do a look I do a look and I had to come back with it period it really is that simple it just requires a little bit of patience a little trial and error and you can make it the way you want to make it I made adjustments this wasn't exactly how I imagined it was gonna turn out but you know when the creative juices start flowing you just be like oh wait this will be cute so that's just what I did. I hope you all thoroughly enjoyed this video and my headline. <laughs> and I'm glad I got to dip into my creative side. I usually don't do stuff like this, so it's, it's cute. It's a cute little vibe, I like it. And as always, you know you better stay blessed, beautiful, and bougie. And I will see you at the next video.